welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and today we are going to do stories 25 and 26 in my October Daily 2021 album. I am in the Heidi Swap storyline chapters, and she is a chunky one. Um, I only have a few days left, which is probably good. She's getting very hefty, but um, the stitches are still holding, so we're we're doing good. Um, I think this one's going to be very quick because um, I really didn't want to have to worry about coming up with something creative. I've kind of reached my um, point in this project where I am just ready to get it finished up and move on to the next thing. Um, and so it's just a very simple layout. The, the pages kind of mirror each other and that's all there's going to be to it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get you put on fast forward and we'll get these two put together. So, let's do it. Okay, I apologize for that little bit of glare there on the acetate window that I cut into my album. Um, I've added a third light to try to help with a little bit of shadowing. And um, it does cast a little bit of a glare when I have shiny things. So, um, I don't know. We may have to work with that a little bit. But I'm just trying to, you know, have the best, brightest quality that I can for my videos. So, anyway, as I mentioned, this is a very fast, simple, straightforward um, two layouts because I just really needed that trying to get this album finished and I've heard a few other people mention that they've kind of lost steam on their October daily and I kind of feel the same um, I didn't feel this way so much last year with December daily I think because there's just more going on this album is not really event based so much as it is just story based and you know memories and things like that favorites or whatever so um yeah and knowing that i have projects for november and december already lined up and ready to go uh, i'm just kind of ready to finish this one so both of these papers are from the new hearth and hollow collection from tracy reed no, another beautiful collection um and so i just wanted these pages to be very simple as i said and i decided to just make them be the same as far as um like the size of the title the um like the tone on tone title block the little rectangle there the same five by five photo no distressing no stitching just kind of a straightforward page and I kind of needed that and I'm glad I did it because I um, I like how you know it's just kind of a little something different from the others I, I do like to have some cohesiveness in my albums I also enjoy having um, you know a variety of different things different colors and textures and patterns and styles and interactive and simple and um, so that's what we went with so you've got my little autumn or autumnal Manny there and there's little pumpkins on one finger that's kind of hard to see in the picture and then of course the orange which I normally steer away from but um, I went with that and a little black glitter nail in the middle um, I did run out of my Kokuyo tape runners so I had to do a refill there I get those from Amazon they're always linked below and I love that it is my favorite roller adhesive um, and then for the I Spy Black I chose a washi that came in the latest Heidi Swap stock the blur memory planning kit I think is the official name of it um, because I, I just like the washi and it was black and I kind of stylized the photo a little bit to make it a little more interesting and I just overall really enjoyed how these two came out so now I'm going to work on my numbers and I end up just going with those little spotty dot circles from the reset girl from a long time ago um, again just to kind of keep the pages the same like a mirror image of each other and so so I'm going to get both of those numbers placed down and then put the circles on the pages and that's going to finish me up for today. And I'll be back to talk to you in just a second. Have a great day guys.
Okay, y'all, we're going to call these two done right here. Um, as I had suspected, these two went very quickly and easy, which is what I needed. Um, and I like how they came out. Um, kind of simple and plain, but that's okay. It's fine to have those kind of layouts um, just as much as it is to have a, something fancy and elaborate. Um, so I have my autumnal Manny, which is still the same one I have on right now, but it is showing some wear and tear past time for an update. Um, and then I Spy Black, I went for this Don't Freak Out washi tape that came in the latest Heidi Swap um, Stop the Blur Planner Kit. Um, not the, it's not the class that's separate, but this is like a little planner kit that you can get um, for the Stop the Blur. And I need to be reminded not to freak out sometimes. So I thought that was something good. Now this paper, these are both from Tracy Reed's new Hearth and Hollow collection. Again, beautiful papers. This one, however, um, was more green, kind of a, hmm, what would I call it? Maybe a dark sagey type green. Uh, it did not look gray on my monitor, but you know, monitors and printers don't always agree. Um, but I kind of like that it ended up coming out gray because it sort of took a little bit more of a back seat and, and let the, the photo stand out a little bit more. Um, and so I like how they both turned out and I just went ahead and went with matching circles since everything else was kind of mirrored. Um, I just thought that would be a good way to finish it off. So I have 27 and 28 to do and then I'll do 29, 30 and 31 in one video. So two more videos and we'll be finished. And again, I'm hoping to be done by Sunday um, at the latest, hopefully maybe even by Saturday. So, I appreciate you stopping by so very much today. It means more to me, more to me than you will ever know. Um, I would love a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed the video. And I'd also love for you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and become a part of my little YouTube family. I post a lot of things over on Instagram. There'll always be close-ups of everything I post here over on Instagram. Um, if there's journaling, there'll always be close-ups of the journaling, so it's a little bit easier to read sometimes. So please consider following me over there as well. Um, until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself, do something good for yourself, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.